If you travel a lot, you're probably keenly aware of your airline points, how to get the most out of them, and what you get back from those points. But if you travel a lot, there's a major source of rewards that you may be missing out on. Hotel rewards. Did you know that the vast majority of hotels are part of a rewards program that lets you earn points that you can exchange for free stays, room upgrades, and more? And if you did know that, are you taking full advantage of it? If not, why not? If you're just getting started with hotel rewards programs, there are a number of programs you should consider before the others. These are programs that have at least a thousand hotels in their network, ensuring that when you're staying in a reasonably populated area, you can probably find a hotel that will earn you points. Before diving into the different rewards programs, it's worth noting that different programs have different rules about how you can earn points. When you book a flight through a third party agency like Expedia or Kayak, you'll still earn airline points. The same can't be said for hotels. Most hotel rewards programs require that you book directly in order to earn points. This might mean that you have to make some decisions about the kinds of points that you want to earn. I tend to prefer American Airlines points, and so I normally forego hotel rewards points by booking hotels on American Airlines' hotel booking portal. That gets me airline points, but means that I can't usually earn hotel rewards points. It also means that if you travel a lot for work, you probably won't be able to earn many hotel rewards points if you don't book your accommodations yourself. You, however, may be in a different boat. Curious about hotel rewards points and what the best hotel rewards programs are? Before I dive in, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You won't get points, but you'll get my love. Without further ado, here are the best hotel rewards programs. These are ranked in order of the best return you'll get for your points, in order of highest to lowest. World of Hyatt is the best hotel rewards program out there, at least for most average people. There are a few reasons for that. For starters, World of Hyatt offers among the best value in terms of the amount of points you'll get and what those points are worth. NerdWallet values World of Hyatt points as being worth around 2.8 cents each. When you first start, you'll earn 5 base points per $1 spent, which means you'll get a return of around 14%, or $14 of value per $100 you spend. That's pretty good. You can earn points through staying at Hyatt hotels, and there are over 1,250 hotels in 75 countries that participate in the program. Alternatively, you can earn points with the World of Hyatt credit card or by booking things like experiences through the World of Hyatt. You can also get a card that earns Chase Ultimate rewards and transfer those points to your Hyatt account. After a while of earning World of Hyatt points, you'll reach status, and there are a number of different status levels. By default, you'll be a member. After which you'll reach Discoverist, then Explorist, then Globalist. World of Hyatt offers a number of benefits to basic members. These include things like free internet access at participating hotels, free breakfast at Hyatt Place for stays that are booked through the Hyatt website, and more. You'll reach Discoverist after 10 qualifying nights or 25,000 points. This will get you things like premium internet, your own dedicated check-in line, and late checkout upon request of 2pm where available. Explorist is reached after 30 qualifying nights, or 50,000 base points. It'll get you an upgrade to the best available room when you check in, except for suites, along with four club lounge passes and more. Last but not least is Globalist, which you'll reach after 60 qualifying nights, or 100,000 base points, and through it you'll get upgrades to better rooms, a late checkout of 4pm at participating locations, access to the hotel club lounge, free parking, and more. Safe to say, if you stay in Hyatt hotels a lot, you're gonna want Globalist access. In general, for most customers, World of Hyatt is probably the best hotel rewards program thanks to its high value of points and varied quality of hotels, though its network is much smaller than some of the competition. It's earned its title as the best hotel rewards program though. Wyndham Rewards is a solid choice for those who are looking for a straightforward hotel rewards program, especially if budget-friendly options are a priority. To begin with, Wyndham Rewards provides a decent value when it comes to the points you earn and their worth. NerdWallet rates each Wyndham point as being valued at approximately 1.1 cents. When you book, you're looking at earning 10 points for every dollar, which translates to a return of about $10.1 for every $100 you spend. That's still quite good. The program boasts a huge network of hotels, with nearly 8,900 hotels scattered across the globe. Earning points is a breeze too. For every booking, you either earn 10 points per dollar or a flat 1,000 points, depending on which is higher. Additionally, a Wyndham Rewards card can also boost your points tally. One of the standout features of this program is the simplicity in redeeming points too. You can use them for hotel stays at three fixed rates, 7,500, 15,000, or 30,000 points per night. No fluctuations, no surprises. As you accumulate points with Wyndham Rewards, you'll ascend through their status tiers. Initially, you'll be a gold member. This status primarily offers you the perk of late checkout when it's available, and a 10% bonus on points earned. 
Next up is Platinum, which not only includes the benefits of gold, but also grants early check-in and a Caesars Rewards status match. The pinnacle of the program is the Diamond status. Diamond members enjoy all the aforementioned benefits, plus sweet upgrades where available, a welcome drink upon check-in, and the unique privilege of gifting gold status to a friend. Wyndham offers access to the largest network of hotels among the major rewards programs, plus it offers pretty good value for those points. The main downside is that it's a budget hotel brand and mostly sticks to that, so if you prefer to book luxury hotels, it's probably worth going for one of the other brands. Still, its network and value have earned Wyndham its title as the best hotel rewards program for budget travellers. Best Western Rewards is generally a great rewards program for those travelling on a budget, especially for those who mostly stick to the US and Canada. At the forefront, Best Western Rewards offers a return of about 0.8 cents for every point you accrue. When you consider that you'll get 10 points for every dollar spent, you're looking at about an $8 value for every $100 that you spend. That's not too shabby, especially when considering the vast scope of the program. Speaking of scope, Best Western has a network of around 4,500 hotels. This guarantees variety, ensuring that you're never too far from a Best Western property, irrespective of your travels. Primarily, points are accumulated via stays at Best Western hotels. Owning and spending on the Best Western credit card or even renting cars through partners like Avis, Alamo, Budget, National and Sixth can also add to your points tally. When it's time to redeem, you'll get plenty of options. The primary and most straightforward method is through free stays. However, you can also transfer those points to airlines, although that might not be the best value use. Alternatively, you can exchange them for gift cards, but that's typically the lowest value. Now onto the tiers of membership. Every member is initiated at the blue base level. The benefits here are pretty basic. Your points won't expire and there are no pesky blackout dates. Progress a bit and you're ushered into the gold status, achievable after five qualifying nights. Apart from the base benefits, gold members enjoy a 10% bonus on points and an additional 500 bonus points upon check-in. With just two more qualifying nights, platinum status is next. It offers early check-in, late check-out and a 15% points bonus. Next is Diamond, earned after 15 qualifying nights and giving you a 30% bonus on points. And for the frequent guests, Diamond Select is the pinnacle, achieved after 25 qualifying nights, offering a whopping 50% bonus on points. While Best Western Rewards may not have the sheer scale of some rivals, the program ensures loyal customers feel valued. With a range of hotels and a robust points system, it's a worthy consideration for travellers aiming for Solid Rewards program. Ultimately, it's the best option for those who want value in a decent network and who mostly travel in North America. IHG One Rewards is an attractive choice for travellers who want a little more luxury from their hotels and who don't travel quite as often as some others. According to NerdWallet, each IHG One point is valued at 0.7 cents. For every dollar you spend, you get 10 points, which calculates to a $7 value for every $100 spent. What's more, the IHG brand boasts nearly 6,000 hotels, ensuring a blend of diversity and convenience. The primary channel for accruing these points is straightforward, stay at IHG hotels. For those keen on amplifying their rewards, the IHG One credit card offers additional avenues for point accumulation. When it comes to redeeming these points, free hotel nights are the most popular choice. On occasion, the savvy traveller might find opportunities to redeem points at values even higher than the usual rate, sometimes reaching as high as one cent per point. A word to the wise though, consider avoiding exchanging these points for airline miles or indulging in online shopping, as these options can notably decrease their value. As for membership status, the journey begins with the club level, where members enjoy foundational benefits like complimentary internet and the absence of blackout dates for rewards booking. After 10 qualifying nights, you'll get to the Silver Elite status, where a 20% bonus on points is introduced, and importantly, points don't expire. Doubling those nights or earning 40,000 points propels one to the Gold Elite status. Here, members get a 40% bonus on points along with rollover nights. Ascend further, the Platinum Elite status is achieved after 40 nights or 60,000 points, bringing with it a 60% points bonus and the luxury of free room upgrades. For the most loyal IHG guests, the Diamond Elite level is the Zenith. Reachable after 70 nights or 120,000 points, it offers a lavish 100% points bonus, exclusive support and complimentary breakfast. Ultimately, IHG One Rewards has a lot going for it. IHG owns a range of ultra high-end properties, but its elite status perks aren't quite as impressive as some of the other options. As a result, this program is best for those who travel a few times per year, but if you're on the road all the time, another program might be best. Marriott Bonvoy stands out as a premier option for many types of travellers, especially those often on business-related trips. According to NerdWallet, Marriott Bonvoy points are valued at 0.7 cents each. 
For every dollar you spend, you are rewarded with 10 points, translating to a $7 return on every $100 expenditure. With a vast network encompassing over 7,300 hotels globally, you're never far from a Marriott experience. To add to your points tally, the obvious method is through stays at Marriott Properties. Like many of the other programs, you can also make use of a Marriott credit card. Or you can refer friends to Marriott Bonvoy, which nets you 2,000 bonus points for each of their first five stays. Or you can also rent a car through partners like Hertz. While the primary use for these points is obviously booking stays at Marriott Hotels, there's an option to transfer them to airlines. However, you'll get lower value like the other programs. Marriott Bonvoy offers a range of status tiers like the other options. As a starter, the Silver Elite status is achieved after 10 nights annually, offering members a 10% points bonus and priority late checkout. Then comes the Gold Elite status, available after 25 nights. This level comes with a 25% bonus on points, a 2pm late checkout, and potential room upgrades, excluding suites. With 50 nights, you rise to the Platinum Elite Echelon, enjoying a generous 50% bonus on points, a 4pm late checkout, a choice of points or breakfast as a welcome gift, potential room upgrades, including suites, and lounge access. For the frequent guests, Titanium Elite status kicks in after 75 nights, offering a 75% bonus on points, room availability guarantees, and other previously mentioned perks. The pinnacle, however, is the Ambassador Elite status. Reserved for those who've spent 100 plus nights and at least $23,000 in a year, it offers the epitome of Marriott luxury. This includes a 24-hour check-in or check-out window and dedicated personal assistance for stays. Marriott Bonvoy's expansive network and excellent status perks make it a formidable choice, particularly for those who regularly travel on business and who are more likely to reach those better perks. Hilton Honours is a great option for travellers who want to attain elite status easier than some of the others. Plus, it boasts a large network and good status benefits. Each point in the Hilton Honours program holds a value of 0.6 cents. Therefore, with every dollar spent, you receive 10 points, leading to a value of $6 for each $100 spent. Hilton's extensive network consists of around 7,000 hotels worldwide, ensuring that travellers have ample options wherever they venture. Earning points is pretty easy. Aside from the traditional method of hotel stays, you can also accumulate points through car rentals with partners like Alamo. You can also earn them through partaking in the Hilton Honours Dining or even a Hilton credit card. When the time comes to redeem those points, members can opt for free hotel stays or engage in unique Hilton Honours experiences. Trading points for airline miles and Amazon purchases is also possible, though this tends to offer lesser value. Hilton Honors membership is categorized into tiers, each providing its distinct set of privileges. Beginning at the member level, benefits include free Wi-Fi and no resort fees on reward stays. Then you'll progress to the silver status, and members will enjoy a 20% bonus on points and a free fifth night when redeeming points. The gold tier is the next step. Gold members are entitled to an 80% bonus on points, complimentary continental breakfast or daily food and beverage credit, and potential upgrades to preferred rooms. Diamond members enjoy all the preceding benefits, along with 100% bonus on points, guaranteed room availability for last minute bookings, premium Wi-Fi, and exclusive access to Hilton executive lounges. Additionally, the lifetime diamond status is a testament to Hilton's most loyal customers, achievable by maintaining diamond status for a decade, accumulating 1,000 points and earning 2 million base points. In the end, Hilton Honours is a great option for those who want to get to elite status and quick, plus it offers solid benefits. That said, the value of points is much lower than many of the other hotel rewards options, so if you're looking to get a lot out of your points, it's worth looking at a different option. Choice Privileges, which now includes gratis and rewards, is increasingly becoming a top choice for travellers out there, and for good reason. Each point within the Choice Privileges system equates to a value of 0.06 cents. For every dollar you spend, you'll get 10 points, and this corresponds to a return of $6 for every $100 spent. With an expansive network of over 7,100 hotels, including well-recognized brands such as Radisson, Comfort, and Ascend, travelers have a wide array of stay options. Points accumulation is facilitated through the normal avenues, the primary method being stays at Choice Hotels. You can also use the Choice Privileges credit card, car rentals in partnership with Avis and Budget, and so on. When you're ready to redeem, points are primarily used towards hotel stays, beginning with a modest 6,000 points per night. While there are options to transfer points to airlines or exchange them for gift cards and shopping, these alternatives often lead to a dilution in value and are not the best options. Choice Privileges offers a range of status tiers. You'll start off as a basic member, which will get you access to a dedicated customer hotline. Then you'll graduate to the Choice Privileges Gold status, achievable after 10 nights. Members here will benefit from a 10% bonus on points, the convenience of early check-in and late checkout, reserved parking, and the perk of rolling over up to 9 nights into the next year. 
The next step is the Platinum level, attainable after 20 nights, where members can get a 25% bonus on points and can carry forward up to 19 nights. The Pinnacle, Diamond, is reached after 40 qualifying nights and gives members 50% bonus on points, 39 rollover nights, the assurance of room availability, and the luxury of a complimentary breakfast for the member and a guest. In essence, Choice Privileges strikes a balance between an expansive hotel network and solid elite perks. However, the lower value of the points earned makes it harder to actually redeem them. It's not a bad choice, especially given the fact that it now includes Radisson. So to recap, most travelers will want to stick with the world of Hyatt. However, if you're on a budget, it may be worth considering Wyndham Rewards or Best Western Rewards. IHG1, on the other hand, is a better choice for those who travel less frequently, but still want a luxurious experience. While Marriott Bonvoy may be best for business travelers who often won't have a choice in a hotel in the first place, given the large network. Hilton Honours and Choice Privileges are solid programs, however they have a lower return for points, so you'll want to think about hotels you want to stay at, and whether or not it's worth that lower return. Thanks for watching this video, and again, if it was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. I've included links to more content about hotel rewards programs and links to sign up for the programs in the description. See you in the next one.